What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the big day. Uh, we haven't talked much about it, but we are going to do the swap on these two cars. So we're actually going to take the D-Series out of the white one, put it into the black one. Black one's going to get sold. And then we're going to take the B-Series, rebuild it out of the black one, and put it into the white one. So now I have a perfect rust-free Florida car. You know, fully rebuilt, ready to go. And so... Obviously, you know, there are time restrictions with some of this stuff. Will is doing me a massive favor helping me, you know, get this all squared away and get this done. Um, he is actually a um, certified Honda Acura technician. So if you need anything, I can't see the sign from here, come down to Foreign Repair Center out in Oxford, Massachusetts. He'll, I mean, he'll fix pretty much anything, but he does specialize in Hondas and Acuras, so he knows them pretty well. So I got him help me do this. Very excited about this. Long time waiting. It's been months and months. I mean, geez, we're closing on a year here. I packed this car up in February of last year. So I know you guys don't know all that because there's been a little bit of gap in videos, but this is pretty big. So we're going to get all this squared away. He started yesterday. He got a decent amount done just because, like I said, we're on time restrictions. We want to get this done as quick as we can, but still, you know, be able to get some content out there for all you guys because it's. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I've never done an engine rebuild. I've never done an engine swap. I've never done anything like that. So this is very exciting to me to actually be able to, you know, do, get get involved with this and have it be my own car and drive it for a long time because I love this car. That's the reason I went out and decided to do this. I love the car so much, I wanted to make sure I could kind of hold on to it in a way. So let's go ahead and get in there and get started. All right, so we're going to get ready to pull this thing out. Everything's all mounted up. As you can see, Will got quite a bit accomplished yesterday. And uh, we're going to get this thing out of here. And uh, yeah, that's really, that's really about it. We're still waiting on decks. Kid is always late, but... It's all right. Extra hands are helpful anyway. So. The trick is, don't break anything on the firewall. <laughs> yeah, I would probably assume that. Yeah. I'm getting a little greedy. I usually take the crank pulley off, but I think it's good. Sucks. And later Hondas, they realized, oh, we could just make that bolt to the frame mm -hmm. instead of welding it to the frame <laughs> and fucking every technician to ever pull a motor. Yeah, see, there's no good way to do this now. So normally, if I wasn't being greedy, I would have taken the crank off and the AC belt, I mean the alternator belt, which I still oh, can, yeah. but I'm just doing a little bit of a cocky bastard. I pretty much just got to pull it past everything. Yeah, you're kind of getting it right there. There you go. Well, it's going to make a puking mess over there. Oh, it's going to. Yeah, yeah it's all coming out. Okay. See, this is why the Honda hoods, they have this spot. <laughs> Have to take the hood off people. Oh, the there you around. go. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> people used to always joke too. Well, if Hondas are so reliable, then why is it the first chapter in the service manual is how to remove the engine? <laughs> that's a fact. First chapter one, engine removal. <laughs> Just because they know that dudes are going to be swapping. That's all. That's right. Single cam jam. That's right. Single jangle. There it is. Look at that. Out and ready to be done. Your first engine swap. First engine swap. So a couple little fun facts about this D-Series while we're waiting for Will to finish that up. This is a single cam, non-VTEC, and it does not have power steering. This car is a 93. Um, it's probably about how much horsepower it has too. Yeah, probably about how much horsepower it has. So, you know, it's a good engine. It's a strong engine and it runs fantastic. It actually has very similar miles to the black one. But, you know, obviously if we can extract a little extra horsepower out of this thing and put it in this one and still be able to enjoy the engine without, you know, having any rust or anything like that, that's ideal. So we're gonna get all that squared away. Um, it does need a new seatbelt. I have one here. So to make sure that, you know, I'm safe. Um, there's no passenger airbag in this one. Thought that was kind of interesting. 
And uh, other than that, we're going to swap out the headlights or the, the little ox lights here because I have the blacked out housing. This guy already put the same ones I have in and he actually sealed them. So I'm definitely going to keep those. But other than that, that's pretty much it. It's, it's gross. It's been sitting at Max's for six months, seven, eight, eight months, something like that. It will definitely need a paint job at some point. And, but a good washing and it's a, it's a 10 footer all day. It, it doesn't look that bad. It just needs a little bit of work, but this bumper's cracked over here from the paint. I might even try to spray that myself and fix that because I don't have the, the, uh, the time to get it painted right now. So I might just do a little, a little fix up myself and yeah, practice. That's right. Well, pr practice, you know, practice my hand out. Well, it's got a Mako paint job, so it's really not all that classic. Yeah. Well. yeah. But, uh, yeah, the wheels are getting swapped over. Um, person who takes over the black Honda, brand new tires. You know, they're, they're in real good shape. Wheels are in great shape too. So I need a new door handle. I have one of those in the back of the car to replace. No power mirrors with this one. The other car has power mirrors as well. I'm gonna miss that. I like that because when I go to back up parallel park, I can see what I'm doing. Will tells me I'm crazy, but it's nice to have. Um, suspension, Amazon special, but rides really soft and comfy. So gonna leave the suspension in that one and I think we'll be fine. So yeah, let's keep working at it. I'm, this, is, this is coming along good so far, but we got a lot of work to do. We got to dismount the transmission from the engine uh, so we can put it on the stand and Will can actually take, we can start to take it apart and get out to the machines this week. All right, so we're gonna get away from the noise for a bit. We were just intrigued by this. This is the original clutch. This is the original factory clutch from 1994. It's got 235,000 miles on it and it's honestly not that bad. Transmission's actually in like pretty decent shape. It will need a rebuild eventually, um, but it's gonna, I'm gonna put an LSD into it, I think, uh, just because it makes sense to do one. But as far as the rest of it goes, I mean, look at this. Oh, nope, it's gone already. Took the flywheel off. Took the flywheel off. Flywheel over here. I mean, things in decent shape. So we're gonna, we, we don't need these anymore. We're gonna junk them, but thought you guys might like to see that i think it's pretty cool how good a shape this is in but like will said it doesn't make any torque as long as you're not city driving it still i think that's pretty cool all right quick update we got the uh you can't see them headlights are out the little ox lights over here uh engine like we said completely out uh we got the shifter linkage out over here so that's all set um will's working on getting this engine ready to pull out of the white one dex is getting the uh, cherry picker ready to go and we actually also got the computer out as well so we're going to be able to transfer everything over so yeah we're doing pretty well over here just you know like i said just a little update keep you guys informed uh things are going somewhat smoothly we got the exhaust off as well both exhausts off uh, and just to show you what happened this one wound up just breaking right off so um i mean hey you buy cheap parts you get cheap quality that's how it works so, but we were able, I'm going to salvage this exhaust. This one's in good shape uh, and, it, and it sounds a lot better. Why would you not? So we should be in pretty good shape. This one came off, no problem, but B series out, ready to go. Whew. All right, we'll catch up with you in a minute. And uh, actually we're going to get wheels off too eventually, get those swapped over. All right, little update before lunch. Uh, D series is out. It is over here. We're gonna be dropping it in this it's bad larry um this stuff looks pretty good got the ox lights out got my weather stripping swapped over this one didn't have it for some reason which i thought was bad, but, you know who knows what people do with these things before we pick them up so doing decently right now everything's moving along okay nothing catastrophic yet um this transmission a little bit smaller so obviously we had to, you know we're not going to swap anything over so um, built to handle less power. It's going to go on a smaller engine, but as of right now, moving good. Things are things are good, and we're gonna we're gonna move on to lunch. So catch up in a sec. All right. Jeez, guys, oh, uh, geez, guys trying yeah. to kidding. Uh, <laughs> definitely gonna be a little bit of a gap and some stuff here, but the engine the is pretty much into the old black car. Um, we've got I put the ox lights back onto this one. Get the muffler mounted up. Exhaust is back onto this 35. one. Um, you know, just really trying to wrap this up, like get as much done as we can right now. So it's kind of cutting into the filming a little bit because there's only three of us and we're all doing something. Um, but it's coming along really well. 
We are gonna have to swap wiring harnesses because it's gonna be too much work to pull the VTEC harness out of this, the black one, and put it into the white one. So we're gonna have to do some crazy stuff to get it done, um, but it's not a big deal. We'll get it done. The black one should be up and running today though, which is awesome because that means I can get it onto the market and get it sold um, and get it out of here, you know, and just, maybe somebody can at least get a couple of good weeks out of it before the weather gets too crappy. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna swap everything back on. There's that stupid muffler again. God, I hate that thing. But, all right, yeah, I'm gonna get back to it. Quick little back under this one. Just, we, I, I didn't notice this before. We got a big dent in the gas tank. Don't know who did that. Wasn't me. Um, but you guys, yeah, I mean, look how clean this thing is, huh? It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Everything looks so good. I know we've been under this before. I know, just in the last video, but I mean, geez, it just looks so good. And I can't wait. I absolutely cannot wait to get this thing on the road because I've never really got to actually drive the black one hard because I was always afraid, like, keep it in the RPMs all day, the drives that we do. Like, I don't want to be too high in the RPMs for just hours on end. Like, it's an old engine. It's got 250, you know, 20,000 miles on it, and I don't want to do that. So I'm very excited to have this thing rebuilt and actually get to, like, really drive it as it was intended because I know it's going to be a blast. I know those roads are perfect for this car, and it's just going to be awesome. So... Um, and we got a little extra power modification coming in the spring, but we'll let you wait for that one. So, all right, let's get back to it. Another quick update. Uh, we threw some wheels on just because we can. And uh, definitely Anybody's looks... watching this. I'm being held against my will. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being worked to death like a slave. Somebody rescue me. 